Hi everyone! This is my review of the new Ever After High Dragon Games Raven Queen doll. And Raven comes in a box similar to Holly and Darlings, which is covered with purple dragon scales. I really gotta say this line had me at hello, because first of all, they named it Dragon Games, and secondly, they made it all warrior princesses, and those two things I'm just a sucker for. So the back of Raven's box features her dragon, Nevermore, which we know is her pet, and also some of the unique attributes of Nevermore. I like that artwork of Raven so much in particular. I think it's really stunning. And um, one thing about opening her, every other part of her is easy to get out except for her left hand, so just watch out. The opening's very small. And here she is in her radiant glory as the amazing dragon riding raven. She comes with a stand and a comb and a ring that is suitable for a small child. You can see the uh, hints at scales there in the in the ring. I tried to put it on my fat finger, didn't work so well. And opening up her dragon book, she has Nevermore on the cover and the same dragon arena and the same rules of dragon games but then the personalized part of her dragon book is a note from Raven about how Nevermore looks scary but is really a sweetheart and is able to grow and shrink at will. So let's take a look at the stunning Raven Queen. So I really liked Holly and I also really liked Darling and Darling was my favorite is my favorite character in Ever After High so I was anticipating her the most in this line but I think that the prize for best executed doll has to go to Raven Queen. Um, this Raven is by far my favorite of any Raven. I really like this uh, back of her hair, how it's swept up to the side in a side ponytail. And I like how, whoops, looks like I left one of the plastic pieces on when I pulled out her head. And um, I like the teal and the black streaks, and I like this sort of armored ponytail. It almost looks like an armored hairnet. Um, there's like an iron ring holding it, and then um, armored pieces. I'm not sure why her ponytail needs protection, uh, but maybe she's using it as a weapon. You never know. And no earrings, but like I said before, I think earrings are impractical when you're on Dragonback. She has those gorgeous violet eyes with the violet eyeshadow. I love this side ponytail. I think it makes her look stunning. And I think she has the best uh, armor on the neck and shoulders of all three dolls because her armor actually covers the shoulders and it is detachable and fastened back here. Actually, I don't know if it's detachable. I, I don't feel like trying right now. Um, everything's held down with a rubber band. Then there's this centered piece of armor that goes down the middle of her chest and catches in a, in a full-on um, chain link sort of, what is that called? It goes around her waist, uh, like a chain link waist piece. And then this halter top she's wearing is skin tight, looks kind of scaly and iridescent. It changes colors as the uh, as you turn it around. Thing is that it's nighttime here, so I've, even though I have every light on in the room, I don't know if you guys can see this clearly. It flares out into this high-low skirt that is translucent, and it's black and silver and glittery. These are probably the best leggings ever. They have a black background and glittery purple pattern, and the purple clearly looks like scales, which I thought was very well done. The boots are very well done. You can see that uh, it's actually open. There are several openings, and there are buckle details painted on, and um, the heels look amazing. They look like there's some kind of ferocious animal sticking out of the back of them. I think these boots require a second glance. Yeah, can anyone tell me what those are? They, I feel like they're like a wolf's head or a dragon's head, and they're open toe as well. As for accessories, she doesn't wear any on her left arm, but on her right arm she has a pretty full van brace that goes from elbow to uh, finger, and it covers everything, so it seems a little bit more uh, utilitarian. And so, 
I think that this raven is magnificent. I don't have every Raven Queen doll that exists, but this is the favorite one of the ones I do have. Let me know what you guys think of the new Dragon Games Raven Queen doll. And I did promise a shout out. So here's a shout out to Flower Girl 12785. Thank you all for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel.